All right, for the second video of the day, we do have the third Epic Strike Tower of the week. Very nice. Also, I don't know if there's any on my screen right now. And in fact, I don't see any, but there are treasure chests. And I know a lot of people during the Indoraptor video that I've already done, if you haven't watched that, make sure you check that one out. Um, but they said that they've run into like the coin wall and, and for free to play players, I've said this since the beginning, you're going to run into a coin wall before you're going to run into a DNA wall. Just know that. And there are lots of opportunities to accrue coins. It's just going to be a little bit more of a grind, but you do have treasure chests out there today. So make sure you get those. And then once you defeat this uh, strike tower and with the information I give you today, you should be able to defeat this strike tower. You're going to get a handful of coins additional. Another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are getting your cap or getting as close to your cap as you can on supply drops for coins each and every day. That'll help net you a significant amount of coins. But for this strike event, it is three steps one epic incubator is going to be your reward there's not one like at the after two wins where it's a little bit smaller reward it's just one big reward you can only lose one time and it's going to cost you hard cash in order to continue but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use dinosaurs you're going to want to have kind of a, a semi-balanced team you're going to want to have at least one fast dinosaur that can kind of sweep up uh, think like Tammy Calagrius, think Velociraptor, if you were able to level those up at all during the, the week's events where you got the terror, the Halloween dinosaurs. Additionally, if you don't want to keep with that kind of thing, things with superiority strike, and I know not everybody has a level 23 Stegodius, superiority strike is going to work great in this event. So think Stegodius, it doesn't have to be level 23. But, um, like Tujangasaurus, I know, has superiority strike. Uh, any of those, like, uh, stegopods, I guess is what they're called. Anything that kind of looks like a stegosaurus, I believe, has uh, superiority strike in it. Those are going to be good. Any dinosaurs with immunity. So, if you, if you were able to unlock your Indominus Rex during the week, that's going to be a good one to go with. I'm actually going to, I know my dinosaurs are, are getting higher levels, but I'm actually going to use the theme of the week. And so like in Dom, uh, T-Rex isn't going to be a great option, but I'm going to modify, I'm going to take out my Raja and I'm going to put in one of these other dinosaurs that I could have gotten for the week. Um, I, sh I should put in my Secondontosaurus since I got so much of that DNA. We didn't get Irritator this week, but we got, we got that. So what I'm gonna do, and I may not even need that, you know, I probably should have gone with Velociraptor, but that's okay. So those are the four dinosaurs across the top there that I'm going to use for the event today. Now I'm not super, I don't use the bleeding dinosaur very often or actually at all, but I should be able to. We did use that dinosaur, right, this week? All of a sudden I'm starting to second guess myself here, but I'm pretty sure that uh, that, that was one of the dinosaurs of the week. And I, I have a bunch of different ways that I could go. I'm going to open up with the Sucrotator. Uh, I get the Proceratosaurus and... So what I can do, what are the moves? Okay, nullify, which isn't gonna be all that important, but I do have superiority strike. So I'm gonna go, oh goodness. That took out quite a bit of health, but I'm gonna go superiority strike. So now that I get to go first, and then I'm probably gonna lose my dinosaur on this turn, but I'm gonna slap him <laughs> with the bleeding move, the lethal wound, and the damage over time should get me pretty good as far as being close to having that dinosaur knocked out. Now, anything that I do, uh, I'm going to bring in my Indominus Rex and all I'm going to do is cloak here 
because my opponent's gonna get knocked out, I don't need to even waste a turn on attacking. And there's one dino down. Although the nullifying strike did take out my, my cloak. So that may not have been the best move possible. Um, hopefully I hit for a lot of damage right here. And I survived that attack, which is nice. I'm not going to survive another one. So that, you know, I've, I've traded dinos and I'm actually down on dinos. So it's not the best. But I still have my Indoraptor in, in the bag here. I could go with my Tanny Calagrius. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm just going to swat it. <laughs> and then... I think... Like, this should be enough. And of course... Like, I understand that my Indoraptor is a higher level than a lot of people, but there you can also play it a lot smarter than I did at the beginning so that you're not forced to put in your strongest dinosaur. But that's kind of what you should be expecting. I've, I had the Nullification Dinosaur in my Indominus Rex. Unfortunately, it kind of got slapped around by the Nullification from my opponent again. Just going to use the dinosaurs of the week. Honestly, if you have a, a pretty high level Stegodius, you should be able to take out at least two of your opponent's dinosaurs with one Stegodius, even if it's not over level 20. I think um, I kind of liked going with the bleed. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go... I'm just going to follow that same routine that I followed before. Um, except for I'm going to go bleed first. And then I think I'm just going to swap out. No. I'm going to do damage reduction here. This is good. Because my opponent's not going to hit me very hard. And then it's going to bleed some more. All right, I can live with that. And um, I don't know that I can stay alive for one more turn. I did stay alive for one more turn, so that's actually really nice. That's probably a lot better way to play that. Um, let me see. What does my opponent come at me? Akulasukus. Bummer. It's okay. I do. It does have nullifying impact. So this could be a little difficult. Could be in a little bit of trouble here. Like there's no reason to cloak. But the immunity is nice. See if I can avoid doing getting 1900 damage. I'm gonna rethink for the next level a little bit though. Uh, I wonder if I can do, I wonder if I can get away with cloaking here. <laughs> I don't think I can. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I should have just gone ahead and attacked. Again, I'm going down two. Let's see, 125. So, again, I'm going to play it safe. I could go in with Tanny Calagrius since I'm faster. With Tanny Calagrius than the Kulasukis, I would have knocked it out on the first try and then used the nullification on try two. But, Gallimimus. Gallimimus is more just annoying. Um, it, it's if it does a lot of dodging, it can really do a lot of damage. And there's a dodge. So I think with that being the case, I'm going to set up my dodge as well. And just see if I can't become an evasive stance off. 
Okay, so I got a dodge in there. And then... This should do it. No, because, see, he's got the dodge again, so he could... Dodge. Basically, I'm going to have to hit through his dodge, because he keeps doing the evasive strike. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. My other option would be to bring in Tammy Calagrius. 130. 130. But he's higher level than me. So I don't think I want to do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. Um, I... Like, I don't feel confident right now. These last two, and especially the second one there, was not easy. It was a lot closer than it should have been. How about that? I should be able to win this. I think if I go bleed and then distracting impact again, I think... And maybe just not go with Indominus Rex on turn two. I think Indominus might be too slow, even though it has the immunity. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is as long as I don't get one shot here. Damage over time, good, good, good. You might be able to pretty much use the same strat from yesterday's video, where you bleed, you swap. You're not going to be able to use as weak of dinosaurs as you were able to use yesterday, but you can probably do the bleed swap type moves again. And um, I don't know that it's really going to matter what I do here. Damage over time makes it 1 1. Um, I think I'm just going to drop in Tanny Calagrius here. Let's. I hope Tanny can knock out. Let's see. Distracting impact, nullifying impact, nullifying strike. That was pretty painful. Would have would have liked to crit there. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to bring it down to my my new level 23 Indoraptor because I get to go first. Um, it's going to be a one swat. Pretty easy to take down there. And then I'm going to go up against Monolophosaurus, which I'm faster than. And I have a pretty strong attack here. So I believe that I'm going to do over 2400 damage. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. I, I'm going to do more than 49 damage here. So it is knocked out. There, are, Trust me, there are way more efficient ways. I, if you load up your team with a couple of superiority strike dinosaurs that are decent leveled, um, Velociraptor, Tanny Calagrius, as a sweeper, I wouldn't start with either one of those. You want them to kind of be the cleanup dinosaurs. Maybe something with like a swap in that is going to uh, either do some damage or provide some protection when swapping in would be a nice fourth dinosaur to go based on your level. So here we go. Nice incubator. I really would like Monolophosaurus out of this and quite a bit of it for my Gallimimus. Now let's see. Again, coins, as I mentioned before, Gallimimus, okay. Dilophosaurus, ooh, I would also like Dilophosaurus Gen 1 would be a nice Proceratosaurus. Kulasuchus Gen 2. Kulasuchus. And 110 Monolophosaurus, which is actually not terrible. That'll give me three fuses back into, ooh, hard cash into my Gallimimus, although it's going to take 10 fusions, so there's really no need for me to drop three into it when you need 10. So there you go. I hope that that helps you out. 
I hope it gives you kind of a game plan. Uh, you can try to use the dinosaurs of the week like I did if you're if you're close to my level and if you're around where I'm at. Well, that was kind of cool to get back to back hard cash. If you're around my level, if you're pretty close to where I am, if your dinosaurs are pretty close to my level, you'll see that come the end, it, it, it'll be a little bit hairy and dicey. Um, if you're not where I am, then I would definitely go with using the counters. Superiority Strike is going to be it. I would use another dinosaur with Superiority Strike in it. Either swap in damage, the swap in bleed that we had yesterday. Um, and then I would use Velociraptor or Tammy Calagrius or some kind of a raptor at the end to kind of clean up dinosaurs and then pull it back out for your swap in dinosaur and kind of use the cheese method that way. Let me know what you guys got out of your incubator and let me think, let me know what do you think of this week's events. I thought it was great combined with last week's events. I think it was, uh, I think it was a good solid Halloween event. After this, uh, I need a break. That was a busy week. So that's it for today's video. So until next time.